I made a video about how to make money using the Brave browser, but today I just want to make something clear from my own experience and that is why is Brave considered the best browser in 2020 and if it's better or not than Chrome. Welcome back to my channel. As you may know, Brave is a browser that is considered faster and more efficient than other browsers. And now you might be saying, why should I switch to Brave browser when my current browser is just working fine and what about my bookmarks and password manager and also what about extensions? I had the same exact question and I was kind of surprised because I could import all my data from the other browser which was Chrome. Let me tell you a quick story about Chrome and why I ended up kind of hating it and then we will move on and see some differences between Chrome and Brave browser. So I was working on one of my projects and I think I had 10 or more tabs opened. I was writing stuff, I was researching stuff, I also had to use some extensions and then boom, Chrome crashed and all my work was gone. Okay, I won't get into details because I know it might be boring, but I just had to do those things online and trust me, it was very, very frustrating. If this happened to you as well, well, leave a comment and share your experience. Now, getting back to Brave and Chrome, I'm using Brave for a couple of months now. And here's why I love it and why I think it is better than Chrome. First of all, speed. Brave kind of blocks ads and trackers by default. This allows websites to load more faster than Chrome. I know some of you don't mind waiting a few seconds or minutes more when researching on the internet, but using Brave you will actually see how much time this browser is saving you. And if you work online, trust me, speed is very important. Of course it depends on your laptop or computer, but trust me you will be literally shocked and impressed by Brave on any any kind of device. The second thing, privacy. Well, it's something that we really need these days. And if you don't care about your privacy online, then you can go on and accept all Google spywares. But as I told you before, Brave blocks ads by default, unlike Chrome, where you need a third-party extension like Adblock. Let me explain this in simpler terms. When you're browsing on Chrome, Google and Facebook are able to track your browsing on almost every website. And they collect data about your browsing habits and this is okay for businesses for example but using brave limits this and it only collects your data on your local computer so you can delete it whenever you want another amazing thing is that brave has a built-in privacy window with Tor which is the best way to browse anonymously on the internet. This means that the Tor incognito mode not only hides your browsing details, but also masks your location so you don't get tracked. So again, Brave wins. Another thing that I forgot to mention when I talked about the speed of the Brave browser, just think about your mobile data. If you use your phone with a regular browser that loads slower, then you will consume more of your mobile data, which means that you will pay more for that internet while using Brave, you will save some money. Let's move on with something that is pretty huge for Brave and Chrome doesn't have. I'm talking about rewards, of course. I said before that Brave blocks ads, which gives you a smoother and easier experience on the online area. But this affects the earnings of the content creators, so Brave came up with this idea. If you want to see ads and if this is okay for you, they will reward you. You are already doing this for free on every other browser, but this is really huge. There are several ways to earn money on the Brave browser and content content creators can also receive donations from the users. But if you're okay with the ads, then Brave will pay you for that. If you want to check out more about this, then you can go and watch this video right here after this one, of course, and see how you can earn basic attention tokens and how to install the Brave browser and so on. But now let's see what is Google doing about that. And I just think this is the ultimate reason to switch to Brave. So what is Google doing exactly? If if you didn't know, there is a beta phase of Google Contributor that will ask you, the user, to buy a pass if you don't want to see the ad. Basically, what does this mean? Well, every time an ad is blocked, a certain amount will be deducted from your pass. So you will pay Google to remove the ads and this money will be then forwarded to the publishers 
to make up for lost revenue. Of course, Google will keep a cut as fees for facilitating the transaction so the user is not the most important for them. While using the Brave browser, you will actually get paid to watch the ads and you won't be asked for money to do that. Well guys, this was all for today and if you enjoyed this video, just don't forget to hit the like button and you know there are many more other buttons that I will really appreciate if you tap. For example, subscribe, turn on the notifications, share and comment. If you want to download the Brave browser, you can find the link down in the description below. I will see you next time with another video that I'm sure it will help you if you want to become a future entrepreneur. Bye bye!